So guys, today we are going to be doing another head-to-head -head kind of video. Now, if you guys are familiar with <clears throat> the channel, you'll know that in the past I've liked to do some of these head-to-head -head videos and kind of talk about, just, or not so much talk about, we'll talk about my personal experiences or my personal thoughts on each of these knives, but just to do a head-to-head -head comparison, a pretty unbiased uh, video, just testing the speeds at which each of these tools goes through a piece of wood that is very similar. So in this video, I thought I would do a head-to-head -head that I've kind of done a little bit in the past. I'm building on the series kind of as I feel and as I think of more tools to add to it. And so in today's video, we are going to be talking about an axe, a pack axe roughly sized versus a saw, a pack saw roughly, a big knife, this is the buck thug here, and a tomahawk, and this is a SOG tactical tomahawk, not the most amazing tomahawk, but still a pretty capable field tool. And we're going to be talking about all four of these tools going up to head to head to head to head uh, on a small piece of aspen. Now this is a dead piece of aspen. It is frozen, so it's a little bit tougher than normal aspen, uh, normal dead aspen, but <clears throat> and nonetheless, this isn't so much a video of going up against the hardest wood, so much, so much as all of these uh, tools you saw here went up against the same piece of wood, roughly the same thickness of wood, and it's just kind of measuring the speed because of course, mathematically speaking, regardless to the type of wood you use, so long as you use the same medium, the rate at which each tool does its job is not going to change. It just might take longer <clears throat> if, say, you're going up against hickory. It's going to take the same amount of time marginally uh, with each tool. So, anyways, without getting too scientific into this, uh, it does equal out. And like I said, this is really just a not so much to say the saw is the best tool in the world. This test, or I do these tests to show you guys what you can expect uh, from an axe versus a saw versus a big knife versus a tomahawk just so you guys can see the time and energy expenditure that is going to be required if you decide to use an axe over a tomahawk or a saw over a big knife so that's basically what this video or this entire series the premise behind it is so without any further ado and that huge intro out of the way let's get, uh, before we get into this please don't forget to comment like share and subscribe to see more of this awesome content and let's finally get into it. So <clears throat> starting off was some nighttime content. I actually did that stuff last night on the GoPro and that was under headlamp light. It was still pretty good so I decided to roll that in. That was of the, <clears throat> this is the Grants Forest Brooks small forest, or not small forest axe, sorry, Scandi forest axe. And uh, it did a very good job as per usual. I wouldn't expect anything less from this beast of a tool. It did a very good job and I was overall impressed with the time. The time was about what I expected now I will say in all honesty as you guys can probably see from the footage the GBA is the <clears throat> or went through the thickest piece of wood but it's once again it's not marginally thicker it's about you know like maybe <clears throat> maybe a few centimeters thicker than what the rest of these went through and you know every one of them getting smaller as it went <clears throat> so the next tool in the mix-up is the SOG tactical tomahawk once again this is not the most amazing tomahawk out there but basically it's to symbolize tomahawks once again <clears throat> you know you could argue oh I use a different SOG or oh I use a different knife this isn't necessarily to say that one brand is better than another but just a generalized this is what tomahawks in general you can expect from them because they're all lighter weight smaller handled <clears throat> implements than an axe or a boy's axe uh, what you can expect from a tomahawk and it did pretty okay. I will say from my personal standpoint, I will admit that once again, I haven't been bushcrafting a super amount this winter. So uh, I'm a little out of shape of this and it was a little fatiguing to use. It wasn't impossible, but I definitely felt the burn coming on using the tomahawk, but it overall did its job better than I was expecting actually. I wasn't sure what exactly to expect out of it, but it did a pretty good job. <coughs> So finishing up, or not finishing up. <laughs> so the next tool on the list is the Buck Thug, 
forth and it did a better job than I was expecting it to do. I am getting better and better with the buck thug. The first time I did this test with the uh, axe versus the saw versus the big knife, um, I was a little bit more inexperienced with chopping knives so it wasn't quite as good that time in my opinion uh, but this time it was definitely better. It was really improved in my opinion. My skills have increased so I think it did a better job than originally than that one video that I did but still it's definitely probably the slowest option and uh, <clears throat> definitely I noticed because I went back to back from the tomahawk to the big knife uh, it was fatiguing it, it was definitely challenging I had to take a little break at times to just let my muscles kind of stop because it was the most fatiguing by far to do uh, <clears throat> it was definitely tough so that's something to take into account with the big knife um, yeah. So then of course, lastly, but certainly not least, we have probably the best option here, and that is the saw. And the saw, of course, blew through this wood like nobody's business. And <clears throat> it overall did a superb job. It is just great. Uh, no complaints there. So, of course, this is just one test. I do want to note, as you guys are watching and have watched some of this footage, this is just one test. I just do these videos so that you guys can get an idea of how each of these different uh, tools process or buck wood. This is just to see and just to show you guys so that you can make more informed gear selections and so that you understand that if you choose to run a big knife, it's going to be slow. It's going to use quite a bit of calorie consumption. There's going to be muscle fatigue. It's going to be exhausting work. With a tomahawk, it's going to be a little bit less exhausting and it's going to take a little bit less time, but you lose the functionality of a knife. And so you kind of have to weigh that on your own. And then of course, obviously, this is the second most efficient tool. A boy's axe is going to be very fast, very efficient. You gain the ability to really split wood with it, <clears throat> but at the same time, you also give up the functionalities of a knife and even a tomahawk. You really can't throw this if you want to throw it. It's not as agile and blade and overall it's definitely not a knife. So you do give those things up for your added benefits in being able to buck wood better. Then of course the fastest here is the saw but it's also the worst at everything else. You cannot feather stick with this thing. You cannot really split wood with this thing. It is solely for bucking wood and chopping things or cutting things up so it's not really particularly good at anything else but it does its job very very well so I just wanted to do this video as a quick information video I like to do these videos because I don't really see anyone else out there producing content to show you guys what the capabilities and capacities of these different tools are and I just think it's an interesting test to see and to show you guys that this is basically what a saw, what a big knife, what a tomahawk, and what an axe will do to a piece of wood and how fast and efficiently they will get through it. Anyways guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this gear roll in and test and as always God bless and I'm out.